all right you guys welcome back to my channel this is shay so i'm doing this video right now because i just saw on the internet that um candace owens is being bashed and um she's really getting dragged okay for what she said and what her commentary was for what's his name harry styles this grown man wearing a dress okay like <laughs> i don't know why um society has normalized this there's absolutely nothing um okay about this behavior and especially when it comes to what the word of god says about it okay so i'm i'm just going to touch on it a little bit i'm going to say a few things of what um candace owens has said and I, I wrote it down so I can end quote it. Candace says, there is no society that can survive without strong men. She said nothing wrong, okay? Why is this girl being dragged for this? Now, I'm not even gonna say this girl, this lady, this woman. Why is she being dragged for this? Because honestly, she said nothing wrong. That's not a lie, okay? America and any other place that has allowed for men to be feminized and all of this stuff, especially here in America. It's, now, it's no longer a strong society, okay? Um, we're being controlled in a way that is beyond us, okay? And I spoke a lot about this on the video that I made, uh, what was it called? Why God Hates Jezebel. It was called Why God Hates Jezebel. So if you have not watched that video, please go and watch that live video. It was a live Bible study. And it's very informative on why God hates Jezebel. Okay. And um, apparently Noah Cyrus got into this whole thing and called her a name, nappy something, something or another. And, you know, that's not really my issue. My issue concerns what the word of God says about this behavior. There's nothing cute and nothing right about a grown man in a wig and 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 makeup and dresses. That I told you guys in that live Bible study why God hates Jezebel, I spoke about um the attack on men. It's an attack on men. Why? Because man was made in the very image of God. So there's an attack on the man. And man has been so blinded by this that nobody saw the attack coming. But this is this is what I want to speak about on this channel. Because I have said this multiple times about uh, and spoke about this spirit, the homosexual spirit, many, many times many times okay and i've expressed that this is the anti-christ that everybody's looking for in a man and again blinded because nobody knows the word of god the bible says that the anti-christ is a spirit and there is no other spirit in the earthly realm that goes head to head with god's word like this homosexual anti-christ spirit Okay, there you, you're not gonna find, um, 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 you know, pedophilia going head to head with with um, the word of God like this. Everybody's not glorifying pedophilia, and they're not glorifying, you know, all of this other. This is the spirit, homosexual. This is the spirit that goes head to head with the word of God. Okay, and again, there's an attack on on the man. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys what I wrote down about this. I really just jotted this down really quickly because I'm like, let me just make this video because this is very um, um, good content and good information for people to know in this hour. Okay, so I'm going to give you um, another quote from her. She says, I speak for people who do not worship perversity, okay? And perversity is just someone acting in an unacceptable way, okay? 
a grown man in a dress is very perverse okay and that's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about they don't want to they want to turn a blind eye but let me tell y'all something women let me tell y'all this right now right here right now very clearly this behavior should not be condoned do not condone this behavior behavior we have to stop enabling our men to think that this behavior is okay because let me tell y'all something I don't want to hear, listen, and then it's the same people who enable these men, oh, living your truth, are the same ones turn around talking about something. Oh, I'm single. Oh, I can't find a good man. Oh, my daughter is single. She can't find a good man. And guess what? It's going to continue to get, get even worse. Oh, my granddaughter can't find a good man. Why? Because we're too busy enabling the men to act like, uh, to act perverse. I was about to say something crazy. We're enabling our men to act perversely. And 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 listen, women, if we stand up and say that's not right, then guess what the men are going to do? They're going to stop. They're going to feel some type of conviction. Okay? Um so not only is is there going to be a punishment but we women have to hold ourselves accountable too. Because when you see your your son or, you know, somebody that's struggling in that area and you're talking about, oh, it's okay. Woe unto you. You have to stop being an enabler for this behavior. Okay? Because they're, listen, every time I see a gay couple, like two men, all I see is two women without husbands. Every time, without fail, I'm like, oh my goodness, there's two women out there without husbands. So again, Candace Owens, what you said was completely right. She said, there is no society that can survive without strong men. Strong men, we need you. We need you, strong men. It, listen, even if you struggle with the homosexual spirit, let me tell you something again. The Holy Spirit is able to give you self-control over your lust over your desires because really homosexuality is an amplified lust issue god is able to give you self-control but listen i don't care how listen you you could tell me oh i'm just so gay that i can't even function there's a woman out there that could completely just take your mind and blow it okay so i don't want to hear that but anyways I'm going to read the word of God because that's what I do. Romans 1 and 25. It says, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. The creator is blessed forever. Okay. Verse 26. For this reason, God gave them up to vile passions uh-oh for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature okay that's two women lesbian couples the lesbians get married and all of this stuff why because there are no good men why because we condone their behavior we're saying oh yeah you could wear a dress oh live your truth gay pride and, and, and the whole time, we're not realizing that this is a whole curse, okay? And punishment with hell and fire. I, I, I digress. Let me keep going. Verse 27, likewise. Also, the men leaving the natural use of a woman burned in their lust for one another. Uh-oh. Men with men committing what is shameful. The God caused it. Listen, the Lord, he looks down at this, this spirit running rampant and he's, he's, he's feeling that it's shameful. That's what his word says. Shameful. So if y'all don't think that we're in the last days, and if you don't think that this is God's wrath in this earth, you are out of your mind and you're more blind than you think you are. Okay. God's wrath is here and we're just continuing to play.
continuing to play. But I told y'all, it's some, it, oh Jesus, there are some, some um, um, plagues coming, some diseases coming, some, some punishments coming quickly to this type of behavior. And I've said it once and I, I'm saying it again because I feel led to say it again. Okay. So men with men committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error, which was due. Let me tell you something. When you get into sexual intercourse with the same sex, specifically men I'm talking to right now, and, and I feel like if this is something that you struggle with, you better struggle all you want, but you better not. Do not do it. Do not do it. Do not act on those urges. Do not act on those desires. Because what does the Bible say? That the, the penalty is in the, listen, it, it comes in, okay? When you receive that in, you get a penalty, okay? There is consequences to your actions. And it starts here with this Harry Styles guy promoting this and you grown man in a dress, not okay. This is how this spirit is running rampant. And I told you all, listen, Jezebel, God hates Jezebel because she uh, she uh, castrates the men. I talked about this. Jezebel castrates the men. And guess what? Jezebel is going to continue to castrate men. Talking about, oh, he looks better in these dresses. Listen, Noah Cyrus, when she, when she made these comments, you can go and Google it yourself. When she made those comments, defending this man in a dress, that's the Jezebel spirit operating, agreeing, coming into agreement. Why? Because Jezebel in the Bible, she surrounded herself with castrated men, men who had no balls, men who will not stand up to her, men who will not tell her to go sit down somewhere. Okay? Listen, men, we need you. I'm going to make this video very short. I'm not going to be very winded, but listen, Jezebel, Jezebel runs our government. Jezebel says same-sex marriage is okay. Jezebel says uh, toxic masculinity. Oh no, baby. Your beauty, men, is in everything. And e listen, every part of who God called you to be and every part of what he made you to be your broad shoulders, your big hands, your big feet. And you got men, I'm seeing grown men ready to do anything to make themselves more like women. Whole time, women, we have to go through cramps every month and all types of stuff. This ain't what you want for real. <laughs> this ain't what you want because this is not who God called you to be. Okay, so I'm seeing men willing to do anything. They getting lipo. They getting their boobs and their butts done. Listen, they willing to chop off their fingers to have smaller hands like a woman. They willing to chop off their feet, okay? Because they can't fit a, a normal size like a woman. Because that's you, you trying to put a puzzle piece somewhere that it doesn't belong. You trying to squeeze it on in there and that's not how this thing works. So um, um, uh, men, please know your worth. You are worth, listen, you are worth more than what you could ever expect or what you ever known. You were created in the very masculine image of God. So again, if you have not watched the live Bible study, what is it called? I keep forgetting why God hates Jezebel. Talking about the divine order of God between man and woman, wife and husband. If you have not watched that video, please go and watch that video. It will bless you at some point. Let me look at my notes and see if I said everything that I wanted to say. Oh, the last thing I want to leave y'all with is this. These women who enable these men, talking about, oh, he just do my hair. Oh, he just does my makeup. Guess what? Let me tell you something. You're sitting up single and he has a man. <laughs> so listen, while you sitting up enabling these men and condoling it and clapping and all of this stuff, he has a man and you don't, okay? So we have to stop um, 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 allowing this to be normal behavior because it's not 
it, it, it comes with punishment and damnation. It comes with hell and fire. It comes with vengeance from the Lord. This is a serious matter. And again, this is the only spirit in the earth right now that's going head to head with the word of God. And I told y'all that this is the Antichrist who exalts itself above every other uh, uh, spirit. Okay. It's exalting itself. And we were seeing that manifested. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Do not forget to like and subscribe. If you want, you can email me at speakhervoice2, T-O-O, -O, at gmail.com. I love you guys so much. God bless you. Talk to you guys soon.